Scooby-Doo and Serendipity. Both owe their existence to the same story about a one-eyed camel. So does this spell. Cast for Spellcaster's Apprentice JTH Shemes, and also Su Oof Unky 1013, whose soul was recently judged to meet or exceed the minimum level of funk needed to run for Parliament Funkadelic. The word is serendipitous. It is spelled S-E-R-E-N-D-I-P-I-T-O-U-S. Serendipitous. It's exceedingly rare that we know exactly when and where a word was born. But we know precisely what the twinkle was in Horace Walpole's eye when serendipity was first conceived by him. It was a bit of Middle Eastern folklore in the tradition of Scheherazade's 1001 Nights, called the Three Princes of Serendip. Now, despite how it may sound, Serendip is not a colorless, toxic gas you put out at parties. Be enjoyed with chips. It's what we used to call Sri Lanka, which means serendipity was this close to being called Sri Lankacity. Now, as I remember it, what the princes did was they identified the camel who'd been walking far in front of them without having ever actually seen the camel before. Because what they had seen was the grass, which was eaten only on one side of the road, meaning the camel must be blind in one eye. And they'd spotted ants on the road, so they knew the camel was carrying honey and it was leaking and so on. What can I say? It took a lot less to have a legend about you back then. I mean, they sure were lucky the camel left all those clues. Then again, the luck was only lucky because they were the sort to notice these sorts of things. And that is serendipity, luck that comes only to those prepared to receive it. Walpole's word inspired Voltaire, who inspired Edgar Allan Poe to write Murder in the Rue Morgue in The Purloined Letter, which inspired the creation of Sherlock Holmes and Miss Marple, Sam Spade, Columbo, Jessica Fletcher, CSI, Veronica Mars, Inspector Gadget, and yes, perhaps most meaningful of all, Scooby Dooby Doo! How serendipitous for us. Give me your word.